Yo, what is going on guys? I'm Damien, this is Damien That Game, and I'm back with a brand new video. Today, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make that Zombies in Spaceland Easter Egg that tiny, tiny bit easier. So before I get into that, let's drop a like on this video. We got a like goal today of 115, such an epic number. Be awesome. Smash that thumbs up. Guys, without further ado, let's get straight into that video. Right, so this particular step is actually going to help you with the Simon Says part of the Easter Egg. If you don't know what a Simon Says part of the Easter Egg is, then I just give up. I just completely give up. What are you even doing here? What are you doing here? If you don't know what it is, it is a step before the actual alien boss fight, before the aliens spawn in. You have to put in a particular combination, which is the same combination which the UFO above you will show. And there are many, many techniques to do this. You can either write it down on a piece of paper. You can try and memorize it, which is very, very hard because the rotation of the lights on the floor change every time you put the buttons down. On four player, is a little bit easier. But if you're playing with somebody that doesn't have that much knowledge of the map, then it can be a little bit harder. Well, this technique today that I'm going to show you will make that light step easy. You will never have to press pause ever again if you're playing solo. And if you're playing with your mates, it makes it easier for communication and just to know where everything is. Now before I jump into this video I do want to say that this technique was actually founded by the user over on the COD Zombie Reddit by the name of YXXT. His links will be in the description along with the original post so if you would rather read it you can go over there and check that out. Now before I tell you the actual technique you firstly need to familiarize yourself with what colors represent what locations in Zombies in Spaceland. Now you might be a little bit confused by this, but I'm going to put a picture on screen now and explain everything before we jump into the actual method. Now on screen right now is a map, a bird's eye view of zombies in Spaceland and on each destination as we know we have Kepler which has the crocodile in it. We have Journey which has a spaceship and we have Polar which has the roller coaster inside. Now on each particular zone. They have their own particular wonder weapon and those particular wonder weapons require three particular color coins and as you can see represented on the picture behind me Kepler uses red coins, Polar uses green coins and Journey uses blue coins. Now each coin has a particular picture on them. The one of the Kepler has an alien on the coin. It's a red coin with an alien on it. In Polar it has a green coin with an ice monster on it and on Journey it has a space helmet which is blue. So what the whole section about there was is you need to familiarize yourself with those particular zones and keep those zones as those colors so you know that Kepler is always red that journey is always blue and that polar is always green all that will make sense with the next step okay so the next step you've just picked up your speaker from the Hasselhoff you're about to start Simon says this is where the method takes place and this is where you want to listen very carefully each time you place a button, it will place a color in the same order every single time. So no matter where you place a button, it will always start with the color yellow. So if you place a button in Journey, then when you start the actual Simon Says, the light beam coming from the Journey direction will be yellow. Now this order is the same every single time. The first time you lay a button, it will be yellow. The second time you lay a button, it will be blue. The third time you lay a button, it will be green. And the fourth time you lay a button, it will be red. And this is the same order, no matter where you put the buttons, a rank pack punch, it will be the same order every single time. Well, we can manipulate this and it's very, very useful. Now, if you put your first speaker down at pack punch, that becomes yellow straight away. If you put your second speaker down on the floor at Journey, that makes that one blue. If you put your third one down at Polar, that makes that light beam green. And if you put your fourth and last speaker at Kepler in that particular order, it will make the Kepler button, the beam, it will make it red. And what you're left with is a pattern which will be the same every single time you play Zombies in Spaceland. And what makes it even easier, the colors actually correspond to the actual areas. So the light beam that is on Journey is blue, which is the same colors and the representation that you know for blue. The same goes for Polar. The light beam will be green. The alien coin on the floor is the ice monster and the coins are used for the wonder weapon in Polar is green. And again with Kepler, you use three red coins with the aliens on them to make the shredder. 
that is the red area and the beam will always be red this is so handy every single time especially if you're doing it solo because all you're ever gonna have to remember is the light combination that the ufo tells you but you already know the combination of the light beams every single time because they'll never ever change ever so there you have it that was the method i thought it was an awesome method as soon as i found that out we used it and it just made so much sense we build the wonder weapons so much that we already represent kepler as the red area or we already represent journey as the blue area so to be able to make the beams of light for simon says the same colors as those areas it makes that step so much easier because it just becomes something we know in our heads not something we have to think about otherwise you would have to think about the combination of the beams on the floor and then you have to try and remember the code that the ufo spits out that is very very hard on solo because I know Kepler is red, Journey is blue, and Polar is green, all I need to know is the combination, and I already know the floor colours without even have to look or remember. I thought this was a handy tip, my team thought this was a handy tip, I hope you use this and also think it's a handy tip. But anyway guys, I'm off, I hope that was a nice little tutorial for you or something you may have not known. If you did enjoy this video and you want a few more types of videos like that, then please make sure to let me know in the comments. The best comment always gets pinned. Guys, we're trying to hit that like goal today of 115, so if you could smash that thumb, make it blue, you're awesome. If you want to save yourself 10% on Loot Crate, don't forget to use code DAME at the checkout. And if you are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified. My lovely subscribers are getting notified, but guys, you're so awesome. See you in the next video, and until the next video, this is your boy Dame, and I'm out.